you are still angry because you have not said what is on your mind. Exactly, and your the person is still upset. angry because you ha the person has not gotten anything from, from you. you. So you people have just to taking that um whatever the issue is and put Korean time and marinated it very well <laughs> and then kept it in the freezer. The day the thing will that freezer will get filled up. Both of you will not like what will happen. Yeah. Say, oh, Amaka is now apologizing to her husband, <laughs> oh, Amaka is weak, oh. Nobody would say that. My husband has not spoken to me in three months. My wife keeps malice for Africa. You are listening to Wife's Round Table with Amaka. Hello and welcome to the Wife's Round Table show, the show for the Nigerian and the African woman. My name is Amaka Chibuzoobi, your host on this beautiful show. Today, we're going to be discussing how to handle silent treatment in marriage hey, hey this is a powerful one because i know for a fact that so many people are battling this in their homes you don't want to see the kinds of dms i receive my husband has not spoken to me in three months my wife keeps malice for africa it's a big problem in many marriages so today we want to talk about it we want to prefer solutions to this menace so if you're out there you're married or you're not even married but you look forward to getting married someday this is an episode you cannot afford to miss my name once again is amaka chibuzobi and right on the other side of this we are going to be kicking off the show in full swing so do not go anywhere welcome back if you're just joining us you're right on time for this edition of the wife's roundtable show my name is amaka chibuzobi joining me today on the show to discuss the topic how to handle silent treatment in marriage is the beautiful the elegant Amarachi, see how she's looking at me. She's <laughs> giving me so romantic much. side eyes. <laughs> uh, thank you so um, much, Amaka. I'm yes. so happy to be here. Aww. To have this conversation with you. Aww, you, you look so demure. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I'm blushing right now. Abio, I you. can see it. <laughs> All right, Amarachi, let's get right into it. Silent treatment. Hey, God, this is a disease exactly. in many, many homes. Yes, it is. So many people are going through this in their marriages. Something comes up and one person just shuts down, does not talk, does not respond, just, just keeps quiet. Silent Stone walls. Yeah, that's and the other person may be talking, but you're talking to the wall. Like, as far as this is just blank. <laughs> this is just blank. <laughs> and it can drive the expressive person crazy. crazy yeah. Right? So Amarachi, first of all, you're a marriage counselor, yes, right? I so am. you're in a very good position to have this conversation with me. Why do you think some people resort to silent treatment? Where is this coming from? Um, yes. Okay, so, um, I mean, like you said, the silent treatment is very bad because hey. it's like a form of emotional abuse. Mm -hmm. You know, I was doing a research and I realized that people that um, have experienced physical abuse, yeah. says they get the same effect when they go through the silent treatment. Because it has, it's like you're flogging their soul exactly. now. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's it's it hurts. It's, it's, it's more. Painful. It's as painful as a physical, you know, abuse. So it's a very big deal, and I think that I'm happy that we're having this discussion. Why people, you know, resort to the silent treatment is because of different reasons. Yeah. For some people, that's the only way they know how to express their anger. Absolutely. Yes, you know, there's something called passive aggressiveness. Absolutely. So some people would rather just. Be aggressive in a silent way than in a physical way mm -hmm. or in a harmful way so they just shut down and you know what i can't deal with this mm -hmm. then for some people it's a form of response to an issue mm -hmm. like oh you annoyed me you did this to me so i'm just i can't i'm do going it. to blank I'm just you going to blank to you show you to show that you i'm pissed that i'm upset they're yes. expressing their anger absolutely you know and so for some people they just need that time off to just cool off and to mm -hmm. process their thoughts so True. sometimes people go silent because they don't have the right words to say they want to say a lot but 
I don't know what to say right now. So I'd rather just cool off and just process my thoughts and talk and about then come it back later. later. But I have an issue with that because mm. it shouldn't exceed 24 hours. And you should communicate that to, to your, the, your partner. partner. Exactly. Yes, Not absolutely. Just going you should just silent. say something like, I don't want to talk right now. We'll talk about this later. later. Exactly. It's much better than, than to just, just go quiet. And I feel like some people also do it as a power play. Yes. They use, yes. They use it to manipulate. Yeah. Somebody actually said, um, when I put out a video around the silent treatment on our Instagram page, by the way, if you're not following us on Instagram, you're in error. <laughs> go to Instagram, Wives Roundtable, follow our community because we have loads and loads of goodies and content. so much content there around life and marriage that you probably would not get here on the show. So, um, one of the videos I put out about silent treatment, a guy actually came there and, and he dropped a comment saying that if he doesn't keep quiet, how will the wife know he's upset with her? Wow. And I'm like, I don't understand. Yeah, how is to express your How is your it that keeping quiet is the only way you True. know how to tell your wife you're upset the funny thing is the more you keep quiet the more you use the silent treatment as a form of expression in quote and i'm putting the expression in giant um, quotations is you're training your partner to learn how to navigate life and marriage without you without, without you. your input yes. so some people you have taught them that silent treatment so much that they don't see your eh, eh, he it has just entered his, he doesn't even have an effect Actually, on them anymore yeah. so eh, he has gone back into his cocoon sure, eh, when, when he finishes ready, he will come, come out. out so they've moved on you've just taught them and the bad thing is the issue is not resolved you are still angry because you have not said what's on your exactly. mind. The person is still so angry upset. because you ha the person has not gotten anything from, from you. you. So you people have just to taking that um whatever the issue is and put korean time and marinated it very well <laughs> and then kept it in the freezer the day the thing will that freezer will get filled up both of you will not like what will happen yeah. but another thing i want us to touch on is the fact that some people actually like you said is because they don't know how to express themselves and it may come from past trauma True. if you grow up in an environment where whatever you said was used it against you true. that you could never get it right true. everything you said is eh, eh, and so why they will shut you out they will just keep quiet i don't want to hear parents parents do that a lot exactly. to their kids or even past relationships maybe you, romantic relationships yes. or whatever you could never just say anything right mm. it teaches people that there's nothing I say I that, that would matter. Sense. So they just keep quiet. So I feel like just understanding who you are um, would go a long way to help people navigate this. Is yeah, it coming from trauma? Trauma. trauma? Is it coming from you don't know what yeah, words yeah, to yeah. use? Where is it coming from? That for yeah. me is key. Now, um, the silent T. I be the silent who is what are you going to the person the that person is keeping you quiet the or the person doing the silent treatment yes right? no the other person oh, the person, the other, the person it, receiving the silent okay. treatment what do you suggest they do when yeah. that silent treatment comes up yeah. because what we see is many people throw tantrums yeah. you're not talking to me what is the matter some people even go as much as becoming physical because they want to elicit a response, response from, the from that person. So how do you suggest the, 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 the person on the receiving end behave? Yes. So I know it's a very difficult place to be in because it's easier said than done. If yeah. someone is, if someone goes silent on me, I would want to react, I want to fight. Like, come on, talk to me, what is this? Can't you just talk? <laughs> you know, but what I think would work, because I'm also a Christian counselor. Yeah. I believe that love always wins. Absolutely. So what I would say is that the person should respond in love. I mean, the person might not be talking to you, I may not be listening to you, but you can show like acts of kindness. Yeah. Let the person know that, Okay, you're not talking right now, I understand, but I'm still here. So don't stop the things you usually used to do. Like if you used to cook before, just keep oh, I'll cook for Doing my spouse. Doing what you're, you're supposed, supposed to, to do, do, you know, just show love and let the person see that you're making efforts. You might not be talking to the person, but the person is seeing that act of kindness. And you know, the Bible yeah. says that a gentle answer turns the way yeah. So somehow the person would come around. So that's the first thing I would say, respond in love. Don't react. Don't, you know, pay back and say, you know what, means I'm going silent. Let everybody just be silent. And that's, uh, what, usually that's what usually happens. That's what usually happens, you know. Yeah. Uh, 
an eye for an eye when you're ready you know but because remember the goal you want for your marriage is peace and love so you should respond in love and just make sure that you are achieving that goal which is peace we want us to be united because i always say people should have a perspective and a vision for their marriage yeah. issues always happen issues will always come up but what's the end goal i don't want to be like the winner of this argument i want peace what's the cost of you winning thank you what's the opportunity cost thank you because you have won you won the what how do they say it you won the battle, battle. but you lost the, the war the yeah world, world, yeah world, world. i like that yeah Mm -hmm. so a lot of us we are just very short-sighted is mm -hmm. that thing that is right in front I, I would win this argument and then you see people doing all sorts of really um, hurtful things yes. to their partners forgetting that this one we pass but both of us are still inside this marriage house. thank you <laughs> Thank you. So the so, end goal yeah. should always be peace, you know, and just respond in love, you know, then also pick the right timing to communicate because sometimes mm. you're seeing that this person is not ready to talk and you're forcing the person to talk. So allow the person to call off. You, you, like you said earlier, you need to understand the pattern. Yeah. Why is this person yeah. going silent? Is it because this is how the person is or because of what you said? So that time the person is silent will be a good time to reflect on what happened. Okay, so how did I make, what did I do? What, what did I contribute? This? Exactly. Absolutely. You know, go back, think back and see what you contributed towards this silent treatment, you know. And, you know, make rooms to apologize. You must practice advanced forgiveness in marriage. I always tell people. <laughs> you know what? Advanced forgiveness. Exactly. Because you know, they will hurt you, they will annoy you, but you know, I'm forgiving you. Don't worry, I forgive you forever. You know how Jesus has if you're a Christian, Jesus has already forgiven us <laughs> in advance. In advance, so I forgive you. There's nothing you would do. It's to pay me about forgiving you. That's let's just start from there first, you know. Hmm. And then extend that arm of forgiveness. So you might just apologize and forgive. Then when the person comes out of it, you need if to both set of you boundaries, will talk about have a conversation it. because must. the silent treatment is dangerous. You must. You must don't just sweep it on mm -hmm. that because a lot of couples are guilty of that. They don't know how to address issues. Difficult conversations. Difficult. They don't want to have those conversations. Okay, he's talking to me now. Okay, we're good. Then, but there's still an issue that has not been resolved. Absolutely. So if we can approach conflict resolution the right way. I believe that it will help with dealing with silent treatment. Let's go for a quick break. When we come back, we're going to talk from our own experiences, <laughs> yes, on how we're able to navigate this um, menace, this yes. marriage issue. It's a very big issue. We understand this. Um, we're going to discuss all of that on the other side. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> welcome back wow we've been having a really engaging conversation around dealing with the silent treatment in marriage we've talked about the things that could cause a person to resort to silent treatment and we've also talked about what the other person the receiver of the silent treatment can do to mitigate this we have actually established the fact that silent tre treatment should be a no-no okay. it should be a no-no in marriage it doesn't help it hurts, oh, it hurts way more than you think it's helping so let's establish that first but we also understand the fact that some people just don't know how to express themselves and that's why we're having this conversation yeah. today so we're just trying to help people while they are moving to the place of eliminating it from their marriages um, how can they manage it in the time being? That's why we're having this conversation. Okay. We're not having it to for you to now relax in this silent <laughs> treatment zone. No, no. Um, so let's talk from our own experiences. Yeah. I used to be that person. Wow. Yes. And that's why I chipped in the part of trauma. Um, I grew up hard and, you know, in a very critical um, space. Mm -hmm. That space where once you're wrong you're wrong forever there is no excuse for do you get there is nothing you say that they'll say okay is that why you didn't know you're wrong and <laughs> you're wrong till the end so um all of those pent-up anger and and frustration from all of that i brought it to bear right so my husband upsets me i go ice cold like very very quiet and my husband is 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 soft he's he just wants us to okay this thing has happened how do we go about in fact the softer he gets the more silent i go you know because for me i felt like it was power mm. 
the other person is is confused yes. right control. the other and i'm in control so he gave me some sort of foolish power <laughs> that i thought i had so i would be stewing in the silent thing but what i now realized was that it was elongating conflict yes. for us so conflict that was probably supposed to last 30 minutes will now last three days, days because days. somebody is not talking he will now talk to me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know you're not you're not communicating and then sometimes things would even go wrong you know things that you're supposed to have you're seen left. and and prevented because you're not talking to him and you're seeing this thing is spoiling but you and want to keep up that appearance of i'm talk. not talking then something else that does not even concern the matter at hand will oh, now go wrong exactly. so it's at the yeah, end of the day i had to tell me. myself that this thing is we didn't enter this marriage to fight each other mm -hmm. we didn't enter this marriage to see who would um you know this gra gra yeah. that some of us who came win. with who would win Basically and all of control. that so it's boiled down to what's the vision you have for your life yeah. and your marriage what is it that you want from this union mm. i want peace yeah. i want longe longevity yeah. i want success right yeah. this thing you're doing is it going in the line i'll be actually like in the line is it aligning <laughs> with, that with that vision it's not so what do we do what my husband and i did was whenever okay so he told me if you are too upset we sometimes fight, fight by chat that's how we now text. have to yes okay. text so those times when i'm so upset and i know that if i talk because this is another thing sometimes when people who resort to silent treatment, why they do it sometimes? Because they know say their mouth no good. <laughs> so uh, you will know that if, if say you something, say something, uh, we'll just, everybody will just pack their load and leave this marriage. <laughs> so sometimes I will keep that quiet and then I will type a text. Okay. I don't want to talk right now. I'm very upset with you. Okay. He will now respond, okay. Which will now get me angry. What do you mean by okay? <laughs> <laughs> So, but the funny thing is, we found our wavelength. Yeah. So we now know when we get to that point where I'm too hot to say something, he will send a text. Do you want to talk about it? I will now respond something like, later, not now. He'll be like, okay, when you're ready. Then I'll probably wait for him, wait for him, wait for him to come back. Then my mind will be like, why are you waiting for him to come back? You're the one that said later. You're not the one that is supposed to now go back. Because yeah. he, he doesn't know when you have cooled off. Because yeah. that's another thing. Sometimes the person that is keeping the silent treatment will now be waiting for the other person so to come. The to initiate it. You have not be. told them that you're ready. True. So I, these are the things that I had to learn. Yeah. So when I'm ready, it's still the onus is still on, on me to communicate. To come back to yes. say, let's now talk this about this. True. So these are some of the ways. So now both of us, we found, I mean, we're 15 years in marriage. Oh. So we found that um place we found that place now it not it doesn't time. elongate the silent treatment doesn't want, you know mm -hmm. because we had to ask ourselves what exactly do we do want we for want this exactly so i feel like that's what couples need, need to, to do. do have a vision for have your a vision if you don't even want to have for your marriage have for yourself <laughs> what do you want for yourself exactly you know so have that vision and then ask yourself does your attitude align with that, with that vision True. that you have for yourself True. if it doesn't then you need to make a change True. marriage is not a let's blow each other out it's not a fighting it's, you fits. get you know, it's not about who wins and or... then another thing another thing that some of us that have the tendency of silent treatment think is that ah, if i now come back i will now look weak <laughs> Do you oh, understand? Well, I yes, yes I will now look power. weak after I finish doing Oboju. I will now come back and then I will now look like I'm yes. begging them. <laughs> Beg them, oh! No, no, there's, no, there's no pride in my There's age. no Anybody pride. Be humble, you know, and what's Beg. Up, really. If you must beg. beg, because you want your marriage to last. <laughs> you want peace. Remember, like you said, like you said, I like what you said. The goal is peace. The goal is we are winning as a team. Absolutely. You know, so 
whatever it takes. <laughs> if you have to roll on the floor, please, by all means, you know, crash that pride. Crash There's nothing it. like pride in marriage. You know, crash it's very it. vulnerable. And I like conflict in a way because somehow it deepens your connection with your partner. Exactly. You know, it just opens you up. You become very vulnerable to them. They see you the way you are. See you finish. <laughs> like, how to say the is. You know, and it just bets a level of understanding. Yeah. You know? And so conflicts are beautiful if you navigate them well. Properly. You and it strengthens well. both it of does. you. It, it does. It strengthens both of you. So there are some sort of um, conflict that will come now because my husband and I have passed through it before. It's no longer, it's, no longer a it's big baby deal. conflict. Exactly. Like so we you know, know how, how, to, to, resolve how to resolve it. Yes. But if you run away from conflict, it will con because it's it is a must. It's a must in marriage. It's a must. perfect marriage. And I think a lot of people just feel that human beings are perfect. Mm. You are not perfect. Your spouse is not perfect. So don't expect perfection. Everybody has weaknesses. Even like you said about you, I like your experience that you shared. It was your weakness at that point. Yeah. You didn't know better. Yeah. But now because of the knowledge and Learning, exposure you have, absolutely. it's better for you. So you yeah. need to give your partner the benefit of doubt that they okay, this is how grow. they know how to deal with this. Mm. And with time they would, you know, come absolutely. out of it. Absolutely. Yes. Very important. We we really need to to look at this. I mean, um it's it doesn't work. It's avoidance and it's a very um very ineffective way, way of handling of conflict. I know for a fact that there are some personality types that by their they nature thought, they they, they would rather not, you know, yeah. ah, they don't like problems. Like you know, like flexing, you know, like, yes, absolutely. Flex, so I can't really flex run away from, from conflict. conflict. They don't like confrontation. Anything that would now start doing you said, I said, she yeah, said, he said, we'll just log they out. Will run. <laughs> <laughs> so phlegmatics are like that just knowing your own personality would also help yeah. you know when you are avoiding True. because avoidance like i said is is very it's, ineffective it's it doesn't effective. work um people who are married to phlegmatics as well need to also understand their personality Hi. and then seek to um approach conflict not from a place of confrontation because that's what flags run away from, from yeah. confrontation um approach it in a way that that person can accept, accept maybe yes. a conversation yes. oh this thing that happened let's yes. talk about it i'm not attacking oh, you thank you but I this is yes that because but a lot of people tend to forget about the issue attack. and attack their spouse yeah you're always like this you never listen to me and then so basically just shut down like <laughs> So let's deal with the issue. Okay, I said this is what you said that I didn't like. Mm -hmm. Or I would rather you speak to me in this way than saying you are, you, you are a terrible person. You don't know how to talk. You know that. You know the funny thing. Um, I know we've run out of time, but I needed okay. to say this before we go. In every conflict that arises, there is always a part that the two people played in that conflict. I agree. It doesn't matter what it is. There is, person. there is not, it's, it's never only one person. Yeah. There must be, so, yes, the other person may have the bulk of, of the, the blame, blame. I agree. But there is always something that you two contributed. Because it takes to, it, to fight. So, it takes, um, what's the word, humility. It takes humility to come to that place of, yes, I know you offended me like this, but me too. I didn't really do well here. Sure. So when this person is saying, I'm sorry, you too, you now say, okay, I'm sorry, sorry for the for part I played. Exactly. Because honestly, let's be very honest. Your marriage is what you two decide to make of it. Nobody is going to come from outside, come and peep inside and say, oh, Amaka is now apologizing to her husband, <laughs> though. Amaka is weak, oh. Nobody would say that. Nobody has yeah. a CCTV in your home. Whatever it is you think in your head about, oh, I will appear weak, oh, is that. your it's mindset. Your mind. exactly. It's your mindset. So let's stop this pride and take responsibility, take responsibility. and communicate our yeah. pains to our partners. Yeah. Stop the silent treatment. Please, is a cancer. Please stop thank it. you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so very much, Amarachi. Thank you it was for so good to me. have you. Thank you so so much. And I see phlegmatics like this. I, you know, I just <laughs> very peaceful. Uh, very peaceful people. <laughs> Not well, sanguine. Noisy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back after this. Don't go anywhere. You're still on the wife's round table show.